So we're talking about a lipoprotein, in this case, a specific lipoprotein, lipoprotein little a. So as you know, there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. The bad cholesterol is LDL, and good cholesterol is HDL. And lipoprotein little a is like LDL because the lipoprotein little a is like a little buddy to the LDL. As you know, these lipoproteins have hydrophobic cores of where it's holding the cholesterol and the lipid, and then a hydrophilic phospholipid membrane, and they're defined by the density, low density, very low density, high density, and then there's this little buddy of LDL, they're both bad. So he's like a bad sidekick. And the reason they're bad is they help with the LDL deposition in the blood vessel, and that process is called atherosclerosis. So lipoprotein little a, just like LDL, is a marker for cardiovascular risk from atherosclerotic disease. You should be thinking about ordering the lipoprotein little a in people who have a family history of it because it's a genetic problem, and also if they have familial hypercholesterolemia or if they have stroke in the young. And so for us in Neurop, that's a NAION of the young, or they had a homonymous heminopsia and a stroke from in a young age, and young, okay, 40 or less, that's young. So you should be thinking about this marker, lipoprotein little a, the treatment is the same. The same treatments that we do for LDL. Diet, exercise, lifestyle modification, omega-3 fatty acids, statin, high intensity, low intensity, acetibine, and also PCSK9, the pro protein convertase subtilisin kexin number nine, which helps get the LDL receptor out there so you get more LDL resorbed and, de and reduce your LDL level. So the treatment is the same, but lipoprotein little a is like a marker that your risk is higher, a genetic risk factor that might help convince the patient and their doctors in someone who has NAIN of the young to make some changes in their life, their lifestyle, and their medications to get that bad cholesterol down.